Welcome to Mechnician. Uh, we're going to give you a demonstration here today of the Volvo Penta 8.2 liter inboard uh, outboard engine here, uh, giving you a sense of the diagnostic capabilities of gel test, uh, as well as the ability to measure, uh, see information about the, the engine and be able to get it back and up and running. So here, let's start with uh, first just connecting to the engine. See, we've got a couple different versions of the 8.2 liter and 8.2 GSI, as well as a DPX 415. Uh, let's go into the 8.2 GSI here for today. Both have very similar coverage, so I mean, not a big difference. Um, so you can see here how we've got to connect. Uh, in this case, uh, we're going to connect with the JDC 100 that comes with the kit. Uh, then you'd use the, uh, I believe that's a 10 pin cable, uh, the 604.9. Uh, to connect up and into the um, the Volvo Penta 8.2. So let's connect here. So now you can see we've entered into the diagnostics menu. Uh, this is where you read the fault codes, clear them, actuate components, do see trials, record data, monitoring of about over 40 different uh, uh, measurements. Uh, then you've got technical data, very, uh, we'll come to that in a minute, but diagrams, wiring diagrams, Maintenance data, this is going to show you some of your refill amounts and that, uh, at least on this engine. Uh, then you've got the technical data, a little bit more detail on the systems itself, and then some troubleshooting by symptoms. So let's start first just with the diagnostic menu. You can come in here, you can read the fault codes. Uh, while in here, here's some demo data. You can see the throttle valve position sensor is uh, not sh flicker, um, has sent off a code. You can see the throttle valve positioning sensor. We want to see a little bit more about it. The system's very user friendly, takes you right into it. You can see all the detail on it and I can even get quickly into the measurements for that component. If I want to jump right to the chase and see what's going on with it. Um, let's come back to the actual uh, fault code here. Uh, I can come in, give me some troubleshooting on it. Not everything's going to have all the troubleshooting and details right to the the T, but uh, the more you have, uh, the better. And in this case, we've got it on this one. So we can break it down, check the throttle valve position sensor. Uh, and in here, it's telling me what to do. I can look at the measurements like we just did, the configuration and details. And let's say we kind of cleared that all out. While we're going through, it's recording all of our steps here as well into a, like a work order style document. Uh, it's a document just the work you've performed. Uh, then it's telling us check the control unit. Let's say we've completed that. And then lastly, if we've got everything functioning and here you can see it's showing us the different connectors and making sure some of the components and everything are working, your tightening torques. Uh, then the last step, if you've got the everything working, you can come out, clear the fault code and we're then completed. So all codes have been cleared. Unit now is, um, is ready to go back to work if we've just solved it. So here uh, again, this is just demo data. Uh, so let's come into uh, back to the diagnostic menu. So we've seen how to read fault codes, uh, some of the information provided, and it allows you then also clear them, or you can clear them here from the diagnostic menu. Uh, some of the system data that's here, be it ECU data, you know, just calibration, engine identifier, nothing major, uh, but your operation data, like how long it's been running, the hours on the engine, uh, able to get that here inside the gel test system. Last uh, or next, let's uh, go into some of the monitoring. So if you want to just have a look at some of the live data going on inside of this engine. Uh, first of all, you can see we've got access to 41 different measurements, uh, all sorts of things, you know, from, uh, you can go by a group if you wanted to kind of quickly get to some things you were trying to solve. Uh, or you can also add triggers along the way too if you're going for live uh, C trials and want to be able to know when you've hit different levels. Uh, but here you can see just a pile of different uh, triggers so or uh, measurements. Let's come in, just take a peek. I'll just show you the way it displays the data. It's very visual, uh, great way to kind of see it uh, across all the different measurements, you know, idle speed, battery voltage, whatever it might be that you're reading from inside of the, the engine. And you'll see it'll capture all this too as part of our uh, document, so whatever you're looking at. So next, let's come back. Let's go back to uh, out of the measurements. Can actuate components, be it uh, lamps or RPMs, oil levels, uh, warnings, um, air control valves, whatever it is you're trying to do. You know, here in this case, it's going to tell you, you know, 
it's possible components not in the vehicle here you go output signals it must be stopped it takes you through the steps whatever is needed to, to actuate the needle and it's telling you it's now complete so any of these functions you can actually perform uh, right here inside of the gel test uh, last you've got the c trials if you want to record the data and then actually go into your measurements that's uh, all inside of here so let's uh let's come in now to the technical data uh, here you can see just some basic technical but we'll get into uh, more of the technical data down below in this case this engine system we've just got uh, the engine so all right so diagrams diagrams very um, visual very click through very simple to see you can look through just either the list of the components you're trying to find on the diagram it would take you right to it but just the same you can come to any of them and it's going to show it to you you click it's going to take you right through to the actual component and then you can even get into the measurements so you know really easy to go from diagram to what is it make me visual show me where i am to take me through to the measurements so quite nice maintenance data in this case we've only got a document it looks like on an older one uh, the 95 to 2000 uh, no other maintenance data. It's just showing you some of the the fluid uh, levels and stuff and types of oils. Sorry, so no real. It's not showing you how to do a service for the uh, 8.2 415. Uh, uh, sorry, the 8.2 GSI uh, engine. Technical data. You can see we've got lots of different technical data. You know the propulsion system, uh, fuel system, you know engine system uh cooling you know it's just telling you it's closed here's the thermostat what it should be at tightening torques you know you want the torque on the different um components capacities you know, there's the same diagram as you saw before um, electrical diagram so then you can get into troubleshooting by symptoms uh, you can see this is included it's the gel test info component uh, this is some of the pieces that you wouldn't have if you didn't renew your uh, license uh, you would still be able to just diagnose and have a diagram uh, if you didn't renew the license after one year. But uh, the troubleshooting by systems uh, would not be there, the, any of the repair sort of support data. So in this case, you know, let's just engine startup problems uh, or whatever the, the component is that you want to get more details on. In this case, uh, engine startup problems, it's telling you to check the pump relay and so on and so forth. It'll walk you through it. So if you don't have a fault code but you've got some symptoms, i uh, got some things here for you as well. So now let's just disconnect from the system. Um, we are going to disconnect. Right. And I'm going to leave. And it's going to ask, do you wish to save it? Yes. So I'm going to give you a sense of what the document looks like. So you can see that as we uh, have been working, it's also capturing the data for you so we've got um, everything we've done we've read the fault codes what the active codes were some of the data inside the machine the motor because we were basically reading it uh, it gave us all the readings uh, you can see that we ran a needle actuation test and it captured all that for us so uh, so that's it. So appreciate you uh, joining me for this demo on a Volvo Penta 8.2 liter uh, GSI. Uh, you can get the gel test inboard diagnostic solution at mechnician.com. That's basically technician with an M. So look forward to supporting you and empowering your service. And thank you for joining me here today.